Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I thought I'll do a 2023 bag roundup of all the bags that I've bought this year. So if you're interested, do keep on watching. So I bought a total of 9 bags this year and I thought I'll let you know how I feel about each and every one of them in my collection right now. So I'm just going to get right into it. So the very first bag that I bought this year is this Lilac Prada Cleo Mini. It's in this really pretty lilac-y color and it comes with the flap as well. At the back there is also a pocket as well. I've done a very in-depth comparison between this bag as well as the regular size Prada Cleo's. So if you want to watch that, I'm going to link it up over here. And yeah, I just really really adore this bag. Frankly, I haven't been using this bag that often this year but I'm intending to bring this out during the festive period a little bit more because I feel like it's quite dinky and cute and it's very very nice when you pair it with like festive outfits. So this is definitely going to see a little bit more light during the festive period. So this Prada Cleo also comes with silver hardware which is quite unlike all the other bags that I have in my collection which is mostly in gold hardware. But I just really like that the lilac pairs well with the silver color. So that's why I got this one and I got this at a steal. I actually got this at like a garage sale kind of thing. And if I'm not wrong, I think I paid like half price from the retail price for this bag. So I think this was quite a steal and I really really like it. The second bag that I got this year is actually this Celine Raffia Ron bag. So it's actually made of Raffia. At the front here, there's a leather piece with the Celine Triumph logo and the handle is also a leather tab as well. I just really like this bag and it has like so many like travel stuff from my Japan trip as well. Um, I brought this bag to Japan this year in May and I really enjoyed using it. I brought it out quite a couple of times and I just think that it's a very very summery bag. I thought it was like the most perfect summer bag this year that's why I picked it up and price point wise it wasn't so bad as well. It was like in the tools um, so I think that this was great. I didn't really want to like spend Prada pricing on like a Raffia bag. So I decided to pick this Celine Raffia one up and it sits so nicely like under my shoulder. I just really like the look of it and I like that it's quite special as well. Not a lot of people have it so that's why I picked it up and it's in my current collection and I feel like I'll be getting a lot more use out of this like during the summer months whenever <laughs> summer rolls about even though it's like summer 24-7 in Singapore. But yeah, I really like this bag and I think I'll have it for a lot more summer seasons to come. And then the third bag is actually from LV. This bag I actually placed a deposit. I pre-ordered it before I went on my trip to Japan with my parents and I only collected it from the store when I got back from my trip and it's none other than my LV Speedy 20 uh, from the Mono Glam collection. This bag is a special one because if you know about this collection you will know that there is a rainbow effect for this bag that I really really love. There's like a rainbow shift when you see it in like bright daylight and, and I just really really love that the rainbow peeks through this bag. Otherwise it's actually a really subtle looking bag. From some distances it looks silver but I just really love that it's navy as well and it's the most fuss free waterproof bag ever. I brought this bag to Europe this year and I was caught in so many rainstorms. You have no idea but it's just held up really well and the water just like lays off it. There is no issue and no staining whatsoever because the handles are in this navy blue color which is really really nice. It pairs well with every single thing that I have in my wardrobe. So this bag actually comes with a longer uh, adjustable detachable strap so it I've just placed the strap into the bag itself for storage but I also love the fact that the strap is a thin strap and it's also in this navy color and it's cool hardware I mean what more can I want from like my very very first like speedy bag I think this size is great it's not as small as the nano bag 
and I think it's just a really really nice size to have as like a going out like grab and go kind of bag so I really love it I think I'm going to be bringing this for a lot more of my travels because it's just super super fast free it fits your passport it fits your daily essentials it fits the vlogging camera the tripod so like everything goes into this bag and it's just really really amazing definitely one of my best purchases this year. So whilst I was in Japan in May, I actually picked up a couple of bags. I picked up three bags in total and the first one actually came from the Gotemba Premium Outlets and it's this Miu Miu fabric tote that I have over here. And then the straps are actually very comfortable in this really soft leather. I just really like how simple this is. They have this tote in this rectangular size as well as the north-south version which is slightly smaller. But I decided to go for the rectangular one because I'm actually intending to bring this out for like work to fit my laptop most of the time as well. And I just prefer my totes to be like east-west style, like rectangular -y. So this bag doesn't come with any sort of fit. It's just really like a fabric tote. But it doesn't really like hold its shape very well. As you can see, it just flops because it's made of fabric. Um, but I just like how light it is and just how easy it is to just carry and tote around because my laptop tends to weigh this back down. I honestly think that this is like my Saint Louis uh, dupe, like the Goyard dupe because it's similar to the Saint Louis GM size. It's just that it's not in canvas, it's in this fabric material. This bag definitely has gotten a lot of use this year as well. I bring it out all the time. I typically double bag it so I place on my laptop and like work essentials here and I do have a smaller bag sometimes that I will just chuck into this. Sometimes I have my Longchamp little lay pliage in this bag as well so I can carry it out if I just want like my car keys and like my cards etc. So yeah, this is the tote. I got this for such a steal actually. I think this was like less than a thousand dollars. So this is really really great because it's from the outlets. If you have never been to Gotemba Premium Outlets, I think it's worth checking out because they do have a lot of brands there and their stores there are generally quite well stocked. So I highly suggest you make a trip down there if you are visiting Tokyo because it's not really very far away from Tokyo or you are trying to make your way to Lake Kawaguchiko, then I would suggest that you stop by Gotemba as well. So yes, it's very exciting and I would recommend that if you like designer brands to just focus on the designer brands because the premium outlets is very huge. So I would think that if you spend your time going to all the other brands to check them out, you're going to waste your time. So just spend your time around the designer outlet area and I think you're good. The other Miu Miu that I picked up on that Japan trip is actually this Miu Miu pocket bag that I have. I love this bag so so much. I've worn this bag so much this year as well and I just really really like how grungy it is, how special it looks as well. Uh, and not a lot of people have this bag and I really like that about it as well. I would say that this bag definitely needs to be stuffed because if I do not stuff it, I realize that the leather kind of like sinks in like that and it just looks really really like not nice if I put it on the shelf but I generally just put it in its dust bag and I store it on the shelf so I don't really see this like indented look anyway I'm not staring at it but I would highly suggest you fill this bag up with its tissue paper and not throw it away just to like you know give this bag some shape while it's being stored I've been using this bag so much this year it's definitely one of my most used bags I'm probably going to do another video uh, dedicating to like my most used designer items this year so this is definitely one of them because I've been using this so so much I love that it comes with so many different pockets and the main compartment itself is very roomy and it fits a lot of things inside so I actually brought this bag for my travels to Seoul this year if you're looking for a more unique and special bag that not a lot of people own then I will highly suggest you check out this Miu Miu pocket bag because I really think that it's very functional as like a everyday bag as well the last bag that I picked up from the Japan trip was actually a vintage one and I picked it up from this vintage secondhand store in Tokyo one day when it was raining and I was stuck in that area there was a typhoon that day when I was in Tokyo and like the winds were terrible so I couldn't make my way down to the Harajuku area which was my initial plan so I actually passed by this vintage store and I picked up this vintage GST tote from Chanel it's in black caviar leather 
and it comes with uh, 24k gold plated hardware as well and this bag is such a classic as well this comes in the east west style the rectangular style and i believe it also comes in the north south style with the handles along with it this one comes with a really really like generous like back pocket and i feel like you can even fit your ipad into this if you really really wanted to it's extremely spacious and i just love bringing this bag out if i just want a simple bag that i can carry my laptop however this bag doesn't allow me to fit my laptop into a laptop casing to place into this it has to be just the laptop itself so just something to bear in mind and yeah it's just very very spacious i generally place my laptop here my kelvin and bastia goes here along with my car keys and then here actually contains my notebook my planner <laughs> been wanting to pick up like a vintage piece for a while from Chanel so this is actually my second vintage piece the first vintage Chanel piece I picked up as actually from Amore pre-covid it was such a good deal this was also not too bad of a pricing so yes this is the last bag that I picked up from that Japan trip in May for those of you who are new here my name is Amelia and I do videos on luxury and lifestyle so if you enjoy these kind of videos do consider subscribing click on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future videos so if you've been keeping up with my videos you'll know that i actually got the call from Hermes in july this year just before my europe trip and i went down to pick up my bag so this is the bag that i picked up it's a birkin 30 in the gold color and in gold hardware and i really really adore this bag so much I have been storing it very well actually. This one definitely I pay a little bit more attention to and I baby it a little bit more simply because this is like my very very first Kota bag and I adore it so much. Uh, I've been bringing this out only on special occasions which is not the most ideal because I want to use this bag more often and I intend to do that next year. I just want to bring it out more often and more regularly and just get used out of this bag. The thing is this one also does fit my laptop but without my laptop case but I still honestly think that this bag is not big enough to fit all my daily work essentials because I really tote around a lot of things with me. I generally bring along a laptop an iPad, a planner, my pencil case and like all the other nonsense that I bring out and another thing is if I tend to put everything inside this this actually weighs quite a bit and I don't really want to put that much pressure on this bag although that being said I feel like I was just like end up doing so sometime because like I just really really want to make good use of this bag because I paid good money for it I definitely want to use it but yes this is one of the bags that I want to bring out more often it's just that I am very wary of about the circumstances that I bring this bag out not entirely about the people that I'm going to meet that day because like I meet a lot of people in a day so it varies but I know that if I am intending to be somewhere where there are pets in general or like children I won't bring this bag out because I just don't want to be that person that is like spending my time babying the bag when it shouldn't really be like a big deal so in order to just not think about that i generally won't bring this bag out when i know that i'm going to be with children or be with pets so yes i guess if you meet me in the day and you want to actually see this bag in person then number one don't bring your pets number two don't bring your children that's it <laughs> Other than that, I'm really really fine bringing this bag out and giving this bag the love that it desires. So yes, this is my Birkin 30. The last two bags I actually picked up from Paris this year when I was there in August and they are both from Goyard. The first bag is actually the Goyard Andrew in the PM size and I got it in the navy color and I just really really adore this bag. I've used this bag so much since I've got it and I definitely have brought its cost per wear down for sure. Even just having it for like four months or so and I don't know why I didn't cave earlier and got like a Goyard tote uh, because for the longest time I just didn't really like uh, all the reviews saying that the canvas will peel and all that but if I'm not wrong they did like a new fabrication to the canvas itself it's now screen printed on so it's definitely a little bit more durable and it doesn't peel or like this color that easily from the previous years for sure I don't know when they started screen printing but 
yeah, I think from all the reviews, generally they do hold up much better. This bag doesn't come with any feet, but I just lay it down because it tends to carry on my laptop and my all my work essentials as well when I want to bring this out. So I do interchange between this bag, the Miu Miu tote bag, as well as the Chanel GST. So I like just interchange quite well. If you know me, you'll know that despite having so many bags, I do actually make use of my bags and I rotate my bags very, very diligently. So that is what I do all the time. It takes a little bit more effort, but I will do it because like, I just like having variety and I like carrying out different things to match different outfits as well. In this bag, I do have an Up Diary bag organizer. They have very, very kindly sent me this bag organizer and it's so, so pretty. If you have not seen my video, I'm going to like link it up over here as well. But it's in this like blue and pink like wavy pattern and I just love that his many different pockets to put your things as well. Very very functional and just very nice to have as a bag organizer and it looks so nice in the bag as well. So that's why I decided to go for that. So if you're unaware, you can actually reverse the Andrew PM in entirety and I have the leather bit facing out and the canvas bit facing inside but I have never ever done so. In all honesty, I feel like I won't ever do it. Never say never but I just like the look of the canvas on the outside for sure. It makes the tote a little bit more special I would say. And this tote actually comes with like an additional pouch as well. Which I have made use of a couple of times to place like my SD cards inside or anything else that I want inside. So this is my Anjo PM tote that I really really love from Goyard. The last bag that I got this year definitely needs a little bit more love and it's my Goyard mini soul piece backpack. I love this backpack so much. This one has a leather bit over here and like canvas. And then at the back of the bag, there are these straps that you can carry as a backpack or you can just like top handle carry this. As you can tell, I have not brought this bag out yet. Uh, it's completely brand new. I'm intending to keep this bag and bring it out soon for sure because I don't want it just sitting there and like not getting used or loved. So I will definitely bring this bag out before the year ends for sure. Uh, but yeah, I just love this backpack and it's my second backpack in my collection. Just really love how like cute this is and like how small it is as well. I feel like this backpack definitely needs like an organizer in it as well because on the inside it's actually fabric, it's not leather. So it doesn't keep its shape as well as the Andrew I would say. So actually this one doesn't really need an organizer but this one does. So I'm definitely going to get an organizer for this when I can and start using it you know because it's so so cute. And then on the inside of the bag is actually fabric itself uh, and it comes with like this canvas pocket as well. So as you can tell there are also like tabs over here. So I believe you can actually detach one of the straps itself and put it over here to carry it as like a shoulder bag. So there's a lot of ways to wear this bag which I have not gotten around to and I want to do so very soon. So yes that's it for my bag roundup of the year. These are all the bags that I've purchased this year. Hopefully that is it. Just as a follow up to this video, I think that I'm going to do a video showing you my best designer purchases and my worst designer purchases this year. So definitely look forward to that. And with that, I've come to the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I'll love it if you subscribe to the channel for more. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!